Welcome to the SAP Success Factors Best Run Workforce HR Demo Series. Today's session in our webinar is SAP Signature Management by DocuSign. My name is Nita Storms, and I'm going to cover some brief housekeeping. We'll be addressing your questions at the end of the demonstration, but you're encouraged to submit questions throughout the webinar using the Q&A panel on the left side of the console. If you experience any technical issues, please let me know via that same Q&A panel, and I'll help you out shortly. Today's session is being recorded, and we'll be sending out a link to the reply to the replay of this webinar in the coming days. Please keep an eye out on your email for that. Finally, I'd like to highlight some additional resources which are located on the left side of your console. Here you will find assets available for download in addition to links to upcoming events, including the rest of this webinar series. And with that, we're ready to dive in. Today's session will be led by Adam Pack and Rick Lind. Adam is the ADP of Enterprise Sales at DocuSoft, and Rick is a excuse me, Senior Solutions Consultant here at SAP Success Factors. Adam, the floor is yours. Thanks, Nita, and thank you, everybody, for joining this afternoon. And if you're not in the Eastern Time Zone uh, this morning or potentially this evening, looking forward to a really productive and, and hopefully valuable session uh, today. We do have a couple of slides that we'll walk through, and we'll also be providing a live demonstration, which will be uh, led by Rick. But before we get going, I always like to take a poll and see how familiar you are with DocuSign and the, the solution that we provide. Again, over the next few minutes while you're uh, clicking the, uh, one of these checkboxes, uh, we'll go through a couple of slides and then a demonstration, and we'll end with some, some q and I'll give you a couple seconds to select the checkboxes. It looks like the uh, answers are pouring in. And as we take a look at the, uh, the live responses here, it looks like we've got some that are occasional users. Uh, we've got a few that are extremely familiar with DocuSign. Um, but most uh, are comfortable, I'm sure. So that's a great jumping off point uh, because we're going to start with just what is SAP Signature Management powered by DocuSign. So if you look, take a look at the left-hand side of the screen, uh, DocuSign and SAP have a very strategic partnership whereby SAP has the access to the power of the DocuSign e-signature platform at its core. It's able to, through its SA, SAP signature management uh, offering, provide an enterprise feature set through an integrated, SA, uh, integrated uh, experience with certain SAP products. Today, we're talking about the success factors integration uh, for recruiting and onboarding. Uh, we're talking about all, we, the solution can also be used across the enterprise. Um, and in terms of uh, blocking and tackling, um, this is supported by SAP, and it actually can be contracted for uh, through SAP and the paper you already have in place. So it's extremely seamless to, uh, to acquire and to procure. Uh, and it works seamlessly within uh, the SAP product set. As we take a look, look a little bit deeper into SAP signature management and the ways that it can be leveraged uh, through the platform, there are actually a couple different ways. Uh, the first way is through the DocuSign web application. SAP signature management powered by DocuSign is really unique in the sense that once you get access to your credentials, you can be up and running within hours. You're typically getting uh, passwords and activations extremely quickly. You can upload documents through the web application uh, immediately, mm -hmm. and you can start saving or building templates, but also sending envelopes. The second way is integrated, as I mentioned, through one of the SAP uh, integrations. SAP products. Again, today, Rick will be showing a demonstration of the success factors integration, but there are many others uh, that come out of the box. And the thing to stress around the integration is it's not a, 
uh, implementation, it's it's really just an activation. Uh, it's a configuration on the back end. Uh, it's very quick, very easy to begin sending directly through your SAP uh, Success Factors portal for recruiting and onboarding. Uh, and lastly, and we have some organizations doing this as well as building their own SAP integration, leveraging the REST and SOAP APIs uh, to uh, to communicate to and from DocuSign and uh, your SAP backend system. So there are three ways to use SAP Signature Management, uh, and we can get up and running extremely quickly. As we think about diving a little bit deeper into the subject of today's uh, webinar, uh, and that is the use of SAP Signature Management uh, within uh, uh, success factors uh, for uh, human resources and onboarding and recruiting, uh, we see that uh, there are uh, many other uh, use cases that can be leveraged. As we take a look down the left-hand side of the screen, uh, there's a whole host of uh, employee policy distribution, uh, contractor agreements, PTO, and, and the list goes on, on, and on. Uh, what really makes a difference about using the, uh, the signature management solution is the experience. And what I like to often tell organizations that are looking to, uh, to leverage uh, e-signature and SAP signature management is I, I can't imagine a world in which we are looking to, to move to a less mobile, more manual, more paper-based environment. In fact, a lot of uh, of what's being dictated in the in the business world today is frictionless commerce. Those organizations that can deliver a frictionless experience, whether that be to their customers uh, or their internal employees, is going to win. Uh, there are often times in my line of business where I am extending offers to uh, employees uh, or potential employees where they. Uh, they have indicated that because it was so easy, they decided, and they had a choice between a couple of different uh, organizations, they decided to, to come to DocuSign. Uh, so experience really matters. Uh, the sender experience as well, uh, not only the sign experience, the sender experience, uh, can make it quick and easy. Because at the end of the day, uh, technology is only as good as the organization's adoption of said technology. Right? And so if we can show that there's an ROI, we can show that it's making uh, the, the jobs of your recruiters and uh, those HR professionals uh, within your organizations easier, uh, it will be adopted. We have a tremendous track record uh, doing that. And then lastly, as we think about the business impact to an organization, and we'll go through that in, in a little bit more detail a little bit later on in the, the presentation, um, there is a very serious ROI to organizations moving to uh, SAP Signature Management uh, powered by DocuSign. So as we think about uh, what that ROI would be, um, I just want to dive into maybe uh, some, uh, uh, some theoretical uh, benefits that we're seeing. Right? So uh, today, uh, most of um, organizations who are, um, are, are sending out these offers, they're doing it via you know, a FedEx or UPS or um, or DHL, if you will, or regular snail mail. Um, but if if you're not, you might be using uh, you might be using uh, some form of electronic communication that's primarily done through through a desktop, and that's a step in the right direction. But what SAP Signature Management uh, allows us to do is, across all devices, deliver uh, the the same experience of uh, uh, that DocuSign does. And where that really begins to differentiate uh, from uh, what you might have today through success factors is, is on the mobile signing experience. Uh, so through the SAP Signature Management solution, you're able to deliver uh, mobily uh, recruiting letters, uh, onboarding documents, uh, not just through the desktop, but mobily and, and anecdotally through DocuSign. Uh, we're seeing the number of mobile executions skyrocket over the past couple of years, as you can imagine, as, as uh, employees have smartphones in their hands and, and they're doing all of their other business, whether that be banking or, 
or communications, uh, email, like that's, that's where they are. We want to meet, meet our customers, meet our employees, our, our prospective employees where they are, and that's on their mobile devices. So that's one of the, the uh, really uh, tangible benefits is of moving to SAP Signature Management. It's just the, the delivery and the consistent experience across uh, devices. You know, as we think about um, just an internal case study, we talked about uh, just a second ago about the uh, the ROI. I'll spend a little bit of time here. Really, what what we're seeing um, what we're seeing with organizations using SAP Signature Management is um, really three three ways to go, deliver value or ROI to to their organization. The first way is is through hard cost savings. Uh, think about all the paper. Uh, that you're printing, all the ink on the back end, all the scanning um, that's being done. Uh, might be the FedEx, right? If it's a really important hire and you want that, uh, you're sending it via FedEx, it's overnight. Uh, it needs to go internationally, right? The postage on that. Um, so there's this this really tangible hard cost takeout that we're seeing within organizations. The, uh, the second uh, benefit would be the soft cost. Uh, so what we're seeing is a number of organizations who have typically uh, swivel chair uh, to, uh, to enter information into, uh, you know, an HRIS uh, success factors uh, from a paper form uh, are no longer having to do that. All of the documents update um, and, uh, and reside within the, uh, the success factors portal. Uh, and so there's some savings there from a soft cost perspective. Uh, and then lastly, what we find is, is the benefit of being able to reproduce these documents, having an audit trail provides some compliance and risk mitigation value to organizations. And so as, I, as we think about uh, using a, a good example, why not just use uh, SAP, um, who uh, engaged with, uh, with their own internal team to validate and quantify the savings that they are see, uh, seeing from leveraging SAP Signature Management powered by DocuSign. And so what they're seeing is, is uh, around $33 a document. Uh, so to be sure, right, prior to SAP Signature Management powered by DocuSign, uh, it, cost them, it cost SAP $33 more to recruit and onboard a, an employee uh, and as you think about the uh, the size and breadth of SAP as an organization, those cost savings add up pretty darn quickly. Uh, so with that, um, I'm going to hand it over to uh, hand it over to Rick so that he can do a demonstration and put some context around some of the uh, some of the, the metrics and some of the things that I had just spoken about. Take it away, Rick. All right, great. Thanks, Adam. Just give me a few seconds here to share my screen. And Adam or Anita, if you wouldn't mind letting me know when you see my screen come up. I can see it. You can see it. Great. All right, well, uh, thanks uh, again, everybody, for your time. Uh, again, my name is Rick. So I'm one of the solution consultants on the SAP SuccessFactors uh, customer success team. And let's go through a quick demo of um, the SAP Signature Management powered by DocuSign. Uh, I'm logged into SuccessFactors Recruiting. Uh, I will go through both recruiting and onboarding. I'll show you sort of a browser uh, view. Um, as far as the recruiting process goes, and we'll generate an offer letter uh, with a DocuSign signature option, and then we'll push out that offer letter to a candidate on my demo career site, and we'll look at it from the candidate's perspective where he'll be able to view um, the, the document through uh, the career site and then provide his DocuSign signature. After that, we'll, I'll show you a quick little video of a mobile example of an onboarding um, document uh, that is signed off by a different uh, new employee um, with the docking sign uh, signature option. So what you're seeing here is I'm logged into recruiting. Um, Tess is our recruiter here. Uh, she, this is a specific requisition that she's uh, recruiting for this project manager position. Uh, one candidate has made it to the offer stage. Carlton, if I drill into 
Carlton's candidate profile based on this sort of event-driven workflow of the hiring process here. We have the capability, since he's in the offer stage, to initiate the uh, offer approval if that's applicable, but then also to generate the actual offer letter. And this can pull together all of the relevant data from the requisition template, which would include all the job and position detail, also the, um, the candidate's information, uh, and then anything else that's directly from the offer form itself, so things like the salary information, um, you know, where he's going to work, who the hiring manager is, you know, et cetera. This is all very configurable through here as far as these, template go, these templates go, um, and it's uh, completely configurable, and this can be different per um, offer um, that you push out to uh, a candidate through the career site. When we move on to the next step here, this will merge all the data from all of those different forms and the actual uh, offer letter template here, so we can see that for Carlton, you know, congratulations, we're we pleased to offer you um, employment at our company. This is the job title. This is who the hiring manager is. This is all the salary information, right? So this is what he's going to actually see on the letter itself. And if I scroll down to the bottom, uh, our recruiter here, she has the option of sending the online offer directly to the candidate using the DocuSign e-signature. So it's very simple. When she launches this, um, you know, and as Adam mentioned, all the DocuSign functionality is just embedded within the SuccessFactors platform. So there's no implementation or real configuration that needs to be done through here. You basically just, through the admin tools of SuccessFactors, you enter in your DocuSign authentication information and you're ready to go. Okay, anybody who has the ability to, to uh, push out the DocuSign uh, form specifically to the candidates would be able to see something similar to this. So here's our offer letter that we generated, right? And then these are all of the standard fields of the tokens that are available. Um, this is uh, very configurable. I'm just showing you sort of a demo version of this. But if we wanted to, let's say, for this two-page offer letter, maybe we want our our candidate to initial the first page, I can just drag the initial token over to page one. And then at the bottom of page two is maybe where we actually want to get the actual signature. All right, so very quick, simple. If this is how I like it, great. I can send it directly to the candidate. I click send. And now immediately our candidate is receiving uh, an email notification saying, you know, congratulations, click on this link, uh, log into the career site and uh, sign your offer letter using DocuSign. What I'll do now is actually go to the candidate's view. So now I'm switching from, let me make this a little bit bigger. I'm switching from the recruiter view. Now I'm Carlton, the candidate. I'm on the career site. So Best Run is our demo uh, company here. He logs in. Let's say he got that email. He clicks on the link. This is what he would see. This is his candidate profile, which shows his profile in his online application because he's obviously already applied for that project manager position. And here's the, the alert that says that he has a pending task tied specifically to the project manager application where he needs to review and electronically sign his offer using DocuSign. So he can do that directly through the career site. Here's the offer itself with all of the fields merged in there. Right? And then he has a few different options over on the right here. If he has a question for the recruiter, um, before actually uh, signing or accepting anything or declining it, he can uh, provide some comments that will go back to the recruiter through here. And what's nice is that success factors will keep track of this correspondence back and forth between uh, the candidate and the recruiter. Uh, if he chooses that he wants to decline the offer, uh, that is supported through here. It just will require that he provides a reason as to why or a comment that he's declining it. But we'll uh, accept the offer, and he's going to provide his DocuSign e-signature directly through here. And again, just from the candidate's perspective, it's very simple. It launches the, the DocuSign function directly within uh, the career site, and it walks the candidate uh, very easily through the steps that he needs to um, complete in order to, in this case, initial the first page, and then it will automatically go right to the signature on the second page. That's it. It's that simple. <laughs> when he clicks finish, it will save everything. You can see there's some additional um, options up here where if he wants to physically print the offer or save it locally, he can do so directly from um, the DocuSign signature page. 
But when he clicks finish, it's going to take him directly back to his offer details. And you can see on through the career site, uh, uh, through success factors, all of the offer history is saved through here. So if he ever needs to come back and you can see that he really, really wants to be a project manager, he could view the offer details directly from um, the, his career profile. So if you wanted to actually download the letter later, that's uh, supported directly through uh, the My Offer section of his candidate profile. Okay. All right. Well, let me switch back now to the recruiter, and we'll just refresh this page through here since he just did this. But I want to show you that from the HR or the recruiter's user perspective, everything is tracked on the candidate profile. If I scroll down a little bit further here, you'll see this is the offer that he just signed. So if we wanted to actually launch this to see what it looks like, right, I can generate the document through here. And here's the offer that Carlton just signed. Right? There's the initials and his signature on the second page. So success factors will store and save the original documents with the DocuSign signatures directly on the candidate's profile. In addition, we also store the DocuSign certificate as part of the offer details. So if I launch this just to show you an additional PDF um, sort of record of this, this is the certificate of completion. So, you know, I'll just, you know, briefly say from a legal perspective, uh, this ties the candidate directly to this document. So it has the envelope ID, all the signing events, the actual signature, the date, the timestamp, everything that you would need to uh, keep a record of this electronic signature that's powered by DocuSign. Okay. All right. So that's from the recruiters and the recruiting view with the offer letter and the candidates. Uh, let me actually go to, I'm going to show you now a quick little video of what the um, new hires experience looks like through onboarding. So in this particular case here, a different uh, user, now an employee here, Danny, she received an email notification once she was hired uh, within the SuccessFactor onboarding solution that now she needs to complete her onboarding paperwork, which she can do through her mobile device. In this case, she did this through her iPhone. And when she was completed, she received an email directly from DocuSign saying it's now time to sign your forms. So right from her phone, she can, in this case, she's drawing out her signature, so you're seeing both options, um, to provide her DocuSign electronic signature. When she adopts this and signs it, it's going to save that. She's going to sign multiple documents here as part of this specific uh, electronic paperwork package. And when she's completely done, she'll be able to uh, submit the full package back to success factors in addition to being able to view the completed documents with the DocuSign electronic signature uh, as well as the ability to download and or print the documents uh, if necessary. It's that simple. Uh, that is also supported through the browser if the new employee is doing this through their laptop or a desktop view. Um, but we, you know, as Adam pointed out uh, earlier, it, everything is supported through the mobile experience as well. Well, that's it from a demo perspective. I'm going to stop sharing through here. And Adam, I'm going to turn it back to you to continue on with the presentation. All right. Th thanks, Rick. And uh, there are only a couple more slides, and then uh, we'll get to uh, a few questions here. But I'm always, I'm always amazed at uh, how simple the technology looks and how simple it is to execute and how much value it provides to a business. Um, we just went through maybe a 10-minute demonstration of how an organization can completely transform the way you send offer letters, the way you, uh, your employees experience uh, the, uh, the offer letter, the execution, and how they can execute, where they can execute, on what device they can execute, and where that information is stored. Um, and, and so I think just to reiterate a, a point that Rick had made just right at the end, 
is uh, this concept of uh, mobile experience. Of, of course, it's it's all mobile devices. It's uh, it's form factor. Uh, you know, iPad, iPhone, Android. Uh, you turn it uh, uh, horizontally, vertically. It'll all display appropriately. Just making that experience uh, that much more enjoyable. As we think about another potential uh, use case and case study for DocuSign and SAP signature management, uh, we did, of course, review SAP's use of uh, signature management, but we can take a look at another organization, um, Sun Communities. This is an organization, if you look on the left-hand side, just to give you a sense of scale, about 2,600 employees, revenue, uh, hundreds uh, of millions of dollars and what they were hoping to do specifically within their HR group and uh, with uh, success factors was to, uh, to automate operations. I, as I mentioned before, uh, there's this concept that frictionless commerce uh, will win. Right? Those who do it best, those who have the best experience are going to gain traction uh, versus those that do not. And so to that end, Sun was uh, Sun Communities was very interested in, in reducing the paper-based processes um, and very interested in going to a mobile uh, technology. Um, the, the you know infrastructure behind Sun was that they were a long-standing SAP customer. Um, they trusted SAP uh, to run their business. Uh, and uh, they knew that SAP is delivering high-quality, uh, scalable solutions. And so when they heard about SAP Signature Management, uh, they they jumped right on board. Uh, so what they were able to do is to highly automate their, their processes. Um, they delivered less waste, uh, both through a human uh, uh, productivity perspective, um, but also uh, through a paper uh, usage perspective. Uh, a side benefit, and it's not to be minimized, uh, it's a very real benefit, is the environmental impact of uh, not printing and uh, and uh, using paper um, as a direct impact, certainly on our forests, uh, which are potentially uh, in a heightened, uh, uh, you know, lens right now, given what's going on uh, around the globe, uh, but also water consumption, waste consumption, carbon footprint consumption or impact. Uh, so there is a, a very real green impact uh, to, to leveraging SAP signature management as, as well. Uh, and, and certainly, right, as they thought to uh, expand outside of what Rick had demonstrated, which were the, uh, the onboarding uh, documents, but also the, uh, the offer letter, uh, signature management can be used across all those different use cases we, we highlighted before. Um, so just get, giving an, another lens outside of SAP usage, Sun Communities also, um, you know, they're increasing their relevance of, of business transactions via SAP signature management. Before we get to, to questions, um, or maybe we should stop and do the questions right now and then save the last couple of slides for, um, for the end. Why don't we do that? I'll call an audible here. Um, I see that we do have a couple of questions. Um, Joe, are you um, are you available to uh, to read some of the questions and, and help us address? I think we okay. can just yep. uh, go. We can go to the questions, Adam. No, I think I heard Joe. Sorry, I think I heard Joe. Are you there? Sure. Sorry about that. Yes. Uh, first question is, who can we connect with to learn more about the solution and have a custom demonstration? Okay. So um, recommendation there is uh, uh, you, you might be a SAP uh, customer already through success factors. Uh, you uh, should have uh, account managers and uh, account uh, executives. Uh, a, a team supporting you, making you successful on the solutions you already have, uh, that would be a great place to start um, and, and dive in a little bit more detail about specifically what you're looking for, uh, the business outcomes you're hoping to achieve, uh, any constraints that you might have in the short or longer terms that you're trying to solve for, and they would be in a great position to uh, suggest some next steps. 
Yep. And if I can just add, if you have a client executive, CEE, uh, they would also be a good resource. Next question, can I use SAP Signature Management for use cases outside of recruiting and onboarding? Ah, yeah, great, great question. Um, so so the, answer, the answer is yes. Uh, what we went through was a fully integrated demonstration from Rick. Uh, so we talked about the three different ways that you could leverage SAP Signature Management. Uh, we, we looked at, uh, if, I, if I remember correctly from the slides, the second way, the integrated view uh, through success factors. Uh, but there are all sorts of other integrations that, that DocuSign and SAP have enabled that are native. Uh, whether it's, it's outside of success factors, uh, but if we're if we're just talking about HR related use cases, uh, you can use the web application if you need to uh, to uh, send out all sorts of different uh, uh, communications and, and agreements that can get executed by employees or or prospective uh, uh, employees uh, through the web app as well as through the uh, uh, through the integration. So. It, it, I wouldn't look at it as limiting to uh, recruiting and onboarding. It's, it's actually any use case you can possibly imagine 